Hey Brad Kesmarski, welcome back. Courtney's uh, laying off to the side right there sleeping after a long day of daycare. So today I want to talk about um, once you've found the right place using the movement screen to be at and you found the right pattern and you've even found the right of the, the right position which would be supine or prone, quadruped, kneeling to half kneeling or standing. So once you've isolated that where to be and you know that if it's too hard, you're at too high of a level, if you can't do it. If it's too easy, you might be at, a, if you can do it easily, then it's not a corrective either. The corrective needs to be in between too hard to do and too easy to do, which is sometimes just right. And once you've found that place where it's challenging, you're at the edge of your ability and you're kind of fighting it and you're, you're working with it. Um, now I think the key, which I've talked about before, is to follow this sequence. Remember, Gray sometimes talks about, um, Gray is an artist and he can paint outside the lines because he understands the rules. And sometimes that throws us off so we think, well, we've gone from an active straight leg raise, we can go right into a uh, deadlift. Gray can maybe do that, but he understands the sequence and knows where people fit because he's done it a million times. He can paint outside the lines. We need to paint with inside the lines until we've done it as much as he does. So this is with inside the lines once you're at the right place. Start in the pattern, I almost always start with a pattern assistance, which is going to get core activation, and even an assistance. So if you're in a shoulder mobility position with the arm raise, you may get some assistance in the arm raise, and get pattern assistance in the core. So now the core is activated a little bit more, and you're getting a little bit of extra assistance in the arm. That's going to make sure you can do that to begin with. Within that category, you're going to move on to just pattern assistance. Once you can do pattern assistance or core activation and do the pattern correctly and own that pattern, then you can move on to trying it a regular way. So you might just go back to without the pattern assistance and try that straight arm activation in the bird dog stance, for example. Once you can own that new pattern that you couldn't do before, then you go back to some pattern assistance and add back in some resistance. So now you might have the tube coming from the other direction. So before it was making it easier to raise up, now you're raising it against resistance. But you're doing it with pattern activation or core assistance. And finally, you take that core assistance away and end that pattern with resistance. Now you've gone that whole pattern from not being able to do it really, you're at the edge of your ability at that, and you've gone through giving assistance through it, through core activation in the pattern, so you got yourself to do it with the right activation sequence, then you've just gotten yourself to do it without any sort of assistance, still with the right activation sequence. Now you've added some pattern assistance, which has helped hone that while you add resistance so you do it the right way still, and finally you end with some resistance. Now here's the key. The next step once you've done all of those things is move on, is move to the next, or start to the next pattern, start over, I'm sorry, at the next pattern. So if we were doing that all through quadruped, now we're going to repeat that variation of sequence through the half kneeling in this case, or the position after that. So don't, once you've mastered this, don't go on to the next position and just go right to the regular pattern. Still go through the pattern activation, and then the regular, then the pattern activation with resistance, and then finally resistance, and then repeat to standing. Work all your way through the sequence so that the right things happen the right way that you're trying to accomplish, versus just working through the um, positions. Positions are important, but equally important is being able to do the right thing at the right steps along the way to make sure, make sure that you have that um, pattern activation and proper sequencing within these movements. So follow the correct corrective through that, and then everything will take care of itself as long as you're at the right place.